and one. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Summer and Cynthia show. Hello, Cynthia. Good afternoon, Summer. How's it going? Oh, it's going pretty good. I am excited about today's topic, or this episode's topic, I should say. How about you? Uh, I've given up being excited about anything because I'm just figuring that with low expectations that there's a better chance of it being met <laughs> by this crazy year called 2020. Yeah. You, do you remember at the beginning of the year or at the end of last year, everyone was tweeting like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if Barbara Walters is standing in Times Square saying, good evening, everybody. You've, you know, this is 2020. And I was like, ah, ha, ha, that's really funny. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't that's heard from Barbara lately. I don't think she's doing well. We hear from Dan Rather. That's a good point. We have to yeah. find out. But Leslie Stahl. Oh, she. Oh. She. All right. Yes. Anyway, you see, we can go down rabbit holes all day long. <laughs> Welcome back, people. <laughs> but t- today we are going to talk about the holidays. It is a lot of uncertainty in terms of how we can even celebrate and acknowledge this time of year. Generally speaking for me, I love this time. It starts off with my birthday, which is in September. And then, (laughs) great way to end the third quarter. And and then grooving on into October, you've got the fall weather, Halloween is fun and cute. And then of course, Thanksgiving and all the things in between. But it's just usually, a a joyous time of year, right? For whatever reason, we decide to be a little more decent and kind. I hate that it is only reserved for the ending part of the year. But in the world of COVID, the year of COVID, how do we try to move forward with maintaining traditions or perhaps starting new traditions? So first up is the challenge is is of Thanksgiving for those who are celebrating. Obviously, the doctors, Dr. Fauci, shout out to you always, uh, would prefer that we not have in-person gatherings. Or if you do, try to have them outdoors. In fact, I stumbled upon a good article in Consumer Report, recent edition, giving you ideas of how to do just that. What are you thinking about, Cynthia, in terms of doing for Thanksgiving before I get into some tips? Well, uh, so we are a very small family. I have a son who lives in Minneapolis, a daughter who lives in New York. Um, it would not have been, I, I think even in co- without COVID, I don't know that we would have all gotten together just because, you know, it, with young adult, you know, people in their 20s with jobs, they don't get to take that much time off. And sure. so if they're going to pick one holiday, it's more likely to be uh, the Christmas New Year break. Sure. So for us, it's not a big thing, it, but it will sort of, you know, it, it just means there's no parades, no Macy's Thanksgiving Day parade to watch nope. while I'm writing out, you know, holiday card envelopes. Have they called it officially? Yeah. I mean, clearly crowds can't go, but I didn't know if they were going to just have an empty one. <laughs> Yeah, somebody was saying something about a virtual. And so, you know, I, I haven't really done the research on it. I did recommend to somebody that I thought what they should do is take an old rerun from like 1982 or 84, or do a montage of all sorts of clips, including some of the commercials, to just get a better sense of history of, of, of the pageantry of this very uniquely American tradition. <laughs> Um, that, you know, how marching bands have evolved and, and how people who are lined up, you know, wouldn't that be cool to see that? So maybe I hope they recognize that there's some value in that. Of course, if, the, if it was actually taped and preserved at a level that could be reshown here in 2020, um, that, you know, the archiving and the quality that, that they would put some shows on was just for a short-term sort of reference and then once X number of years passed, it wasn't worth preserving or, um, or archiving. Yeah, that's actually a good idea if they decide to do that. And I'm not sure if there's a game or not in terms of football. I, I don't watch NFL anymore, so don't know. Yeah. But 
So it's gonna be different. So this is an, an opportunity to create a new tradition. We honestly don't know what we're doing for Thanksgiving yet. Um, my husband and I are in Dallas and I have some family here. Now the latest tradition actually has been my mother would come to Dallas with us and stay for a week or so and hang out. That's not happening this year. And we would hang out with my family, uh, extended family here in the area and my mother, um, as well as my mother-in-law and, and do things. But yeah, this year, it's just going to be us. Um, we did have a conversation with my mother-in-law yesterday tentatively. So as we visit my mother-in-law, we literally hang out in the driveway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do it. Um, but we did propose potentially maybe bringing a meal and just eating outside in the driveway like we yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. We'll be doing that. But I mean, again, this is, you, you've got to invent something. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, but yeah, we don't have anything tinted or carved out permanently in terms of what we're doing that day. But it's open for interpretation. So some, for those who have large families or you're trying to figure out how to gather with people, Again, outdoor is the most highly recommended if you can do a, a set up an environment like that. Another interesting tip they were giving was, you know, really Thanksgiving menu could be anything. Now, of course, we like to have the traditional meals. We usually don't eat those things until this time of year, but by no means are you obligated to do this. Like I, I've had several friends who are Italian and eat Italian food or Mexican food on it. So it could be whatever, but another idea kind of elevate things, especially when you think of traditional foods like that, there's a lot of passing around and, you know, if you were trying to stay safe, um, obviously having that type of setup isn't conducive for um, the COVID world, but they were like, even if you take, sandwiches i mean i know that's like oh my god but maybe <laughs> if you could do like some fancy turkey sandwiches or something or something that's pre-wrapped to where you're not going back and forth at the same dish and serving uh utensils was the idea um what do you think of that? <laughs> you laughed at sandwiches for sure <laughs> Or, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, don't anticipate, I don't anticipate being in an environment where there's going to be that many people um, yes. selecting from the same sort of congregate dining experience. You know, obviously, the another logical thing would be is so, to sort of create a little checklist. And, what, you know, as, as long as the person is four years or five years older and can identify whether they want jello or green bean casserole, they check that box and then somebody's in the kitchen actually slapping the mashed potatoes and the stuffing and the jello and out comes the plate. So, you know, I think just practicing real smart distancing and trying to make the best of what there is. And the only thing I would add to some of your ideas, Summer, and, and obviously everybody's going to have ideas on the internet, is to think about the people who are in your immediate physical circle, your neighbors, the other people who live in your building or the people who maybe live a little bit further away who you know who might be alone. And right. if there's an opportunity to, to send some food over or at least do some greetings, um, I think that that really is going to go a long way. This is our, this is our, new, our new reality is that Americans care about each other. Right, right. And it's a great occasion to do that. And again, yeah. I think, especially for those who may be alone during this time and, and perhaps have been all of this time, just because it, it has forced us to an extent isolation from one another. Um, I've seen ideas about the Zoom, and I know most of us are Zoomed out, <laughs> but um, you know, gathering with your friends and family virtually and either cooking together or when you've made that meal, you all sit down and just, so I, I, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. It in uh, the only quote wrong way is just you know having a bunch of people in your house because <laughs> unfortunately our our counts are out of control right now. We yeah. are spiked up as a nation, and we really can't 
get laxed right now, especially with just, it's naturally the flu season now. It is cooler in a lot of parts of the country. So it's a recipe for disaster if we try to pretend this thing is not happening and you pile in 30, 50 plus people into your home or in a closed environment, that's not necessarily smart. So we, we want to um, be diligent about maintaining protocols, health protocols, but at the same time, carving out those little moments of joy. So if it is the tradition of watching your favorite movie or your favorite sports, maybe if it's playing um, or, or whatever, you know, just taking the time to do that. And also again, with Cynthia's advice about those who may be alone, your neighbor or, or just, you know, someone you hadn't thought about is also an opportunity to extend an olive branch or say hello and, and you know, it, it's going to be interesting for sure, but I still love the essence of this time of year. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really what you make of it, you know? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, and, and I guess the, my only other thought on that, as it, as it then rolls into Christmas, which, which has its oh, oh, Christmas, Hanukkah, and all of the, the sort of year-end celebrations and rituals and routines that we go through, is that we will now at that point be entering sort of our 10th month of, of lockdown or isolation. Obviously much more disciplined for people with uh, conditions. Correct. People who have really felt that they needed to stay as isolated as possible. Well, that is now wearing on our psyche. And they're saying that that's obviously what's contributing to just this fatigue. Yeah. We have to recognize that within that fatigue, and within that individual who has chosen to um, do right by themselves and also the rest of the, I mean, the healthcare uh, infrastructure by, by trying to stay healthy, they are probably missing people more than we can even imagine. They've fallen off our radar. Yeah, absolutely. And, and if the spirit of the holidays, whatever religion you practice it out of, and the spirit of Thanksgiving and in and, and, and the, the positive spirit of Thanksgiving, not the, the white people, you know, ran roughshod over the Native Americans because we have to recognize that too. But still use it as that point of we have blessings, all of us who are alive right now, not the 240,000 people who celebrated with us last year. We are blessed to be in a country that is going to be free that is going to be in a mode of progress and rebuild and, and growth. We have a lot to be grateful for this year as, as wretched as 2020 has been. Yeah. Don't just leave that for yourself and don't look at your glasses half empty, which I'm the first to say I do, but rather I need to think long and hard about who are the people who I know who won't have hit family either, who, who can't travel to their own family who maybe don't even have access to Zoom. And am I calling them enough? Am I doing, am I writing notes? Yeah. Get creative people. We've got a lot of resources at yeah. our disposal. And also if you have young people in your family, let them also build, add some of the color to what this unique, we hope one time only holiday season is gonna look like. Yeah. Uh, they've got ideas too. And they have, um, they have feelings and they have processing that needs to happen too. Yeah. And, and like you're saying, you know, it's, it's about remembering the reason for the season as well and, and just upholding the essence of what these occasions are for um, and not necessarily, you know, looking at it, like you said, as a glass half full. Um, for me, this year has been all about making sweet lemonade out of these damn lemons that life has continuously handed this year. But, you know, we're going to make it through. So let's jump to December. Wait, do you know what you're doing for Christmas? Do you celebrate Christmas? We celebrate Christmas. We sort of celebrate Hanukkah. We just, you know, kind of call it Fan Appreciation Month. I love it. Um, it's, it, we don't really know. Um, we don't know what travel is going to look like. We don't know if air travel is available or if everybody's going to have to hop in cars and maybe we find a midpoint of all these, of Minneapolis and New York and Chicago. We just don't know. So um, 
that sense of uncertainty is uh, um, making me a little crabby. And I don't know that I really want to put up decorations here in Chicago because that likelihood of us having the holiday here is kind of slim. Aww. Or if it is the holiday, it's just going to be the two of us and, and I'm going to be very cranky. So, well, I can't wait to put up my Christmas decor. Okay. And I'm respectful of the flow and the chain. And then that's not a dig to those who already have their Christmas stuff up, including my neighbors. More um, power to them. Exactly. Whatever. You Whatever. find your joy. You steal your joy. Exactly. exactly. But I tell you, literally, the next day after Thanksgiving, it is full blown winter wonderland. Um, we actually do have plans for Christmas. And we made these plans back in January before we knew, you know, ha ha, life was going to dump lemons. But um, we're going on a trip. We're going to St. Lucia. We have been very diligent and responsible with our exposure because mm -hmm. leading up to this moment in December, we literally leave Christmas Day and um, hopeful that, you know, we just stay doing what we're doing. We'll obviously follow their protocols um for the destination and coming back and you know we're we're looking forward to that in fact in Puerto yeah. Rico, we have 46 days do, 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 do. <laughs> all right so looking forward to that but you know again it's an opportunity to to celebrate in whatever capacity you can but it, it's important to do something yeah. It doesn't matter how big or how small it is, but take time to, to relish in the moment of joy and happiness um, and looking out for your fellow man, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we can all agree it's going to be different. It is. So now that we can get past the fact that it's not going to be like last Christmas or the Christmas before, based on what we know or what we can control, how can we make this a, a, a positive, caring experience? maybe with a different group of people because we know it's not the same group from last year. So yeah. be open. I think follow your heart and, and think about who, um, who could benefit from some of your energy and in a way that's safe, obviously, but you know, the, the spirit is, is a very powerful uh, thing. So we just have to, Go ahead. Sorry. No. We just have to, figure out how to make this work into, into January and February and keep our fingers crossed that uh, science and leadership and American ingenuity gets us out of this. Absolutely. And if you happen to have any tips uh, or comments about what we're talking about now, hey, there's an email address. Send us a note and let us know what you're doing for the holidays or how you feel about the subject. Um, always feel free to shoot us a note there so but you know it, we're in this together as we yeah. have been all year you know um and and we'll get through this but it, it's just remembering the why of everything and to still moments of joy for yourself and your loved ones what a great way to close out this episode summer Woo, you're a poet <laughs> <laughs> all right if you like what you've been seeing and hearing and feeling, subscribe. Leave us yep. a comment. Hit that us a note. Dun, 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 dun. And stay tuned for another episode coming up of the Summer and Cynthia show. Ta -da.